गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न टर्मिनोलॉजी आर टर्मिनोलॉजी आर जनरली यूज फॉर डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ फ्लावर एंड द प्लांट दिस टर्मिनोलॉजी गिव्स द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द मार्फोलॉजी ऑफ द फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स any botanical analysis of the plant needs some certain information and this information is kind of a descriptive information and this descriptive information are generally defined in certain technical term and this technical terms and this technical terminology today we are going to see the terminology used for describing the morphological description of the flowering plant the first terminology is habit so habit is the appearance of the plant whether it is herb whether it is under shrub shrub tree climber etc then the next one is the habitat habitat is the place where the plant is growing if the plant grows on the land then it is called as terrestrial plant if it is a grow in the water then it is aquatic epiphytes which are growing on the another plant the next terminology is root root is the underground part of the plants typically it is a two type adventitious root system and the tap rooted root system and even sometimes it is a fibrous root system in certain plants it shows certain modification with respect to function and the shape like a fusiform conical napiform fasciculate nodal etc the next term is the stem in this we have to describe the stem the whether the stem is present above the ground or the underground if it is above the ground whether it is erect runner or the aerial and if it is underground then it must be it may be the bulb corn rhizome or the tuber there are a different types of this stem and even the modification of this stem the next terminology is leaf the leaf uh, represented uh, firstly by the arrangement that is a phyllotaxy then its type shape apex even the margin venation and it should mention the modification if there is any modification in the leaf then the next term used while the description of the plant is the inflorescence uh, inflorescence is the arrangement of the flowers on the axis so this arrangement is in a very uh, particular or a specific order and whether it is ascending or a descending order so generally inflorescence is of either racemous type cymose types or a special type then the next terminology is the flower uh to describe the flower we have to start from the symmetry then sexuality then insertion then the number of a petal or the sepals that is uh, whether it is flower is a tetrameres trimeres or the pentameres then the ovary position whether the flower is a superior ovary is a superior inferior or the flower is a hypogynous or the epigynous or the perigynous then after the flower we should write the description of the calyx if there is a presence of the epicalyx uh, we may write upon the epicalyx if we are considering the calyx we should mention mention the number of the sepal then fusion whether it is a gamosepalous or a polysepalous then cohesion then Uh, adhesion, estivation. That means in which arrangement of the sepals, then its shape, color, or how to mention the modification. Then the next one is the corolla. 
corolla is represented by the petals group of the petal what are the number of the petal then the whether it is a gamma petalus or a body petalus that is the cohesion then adhesion then a starvation shape its color and the modification if any the next term is the essential wall that is the androecium so in androecium how to mention the number of the stamen and then its cohesion whether it is a free or whether it is united then the adhesion either if there is any fusion with the other essential or a non-essential floral organ and there is a certain modification so if the uh, androecium is a united then whether it is a monotica or the diatheca then the next essential floral wall is the gynoecium gynoecium i uh, have to mention the number of carpels then its cohesion whether it is the polycarpus or whether it is the united then the adhesion if there any is then the ovary position whether it is a superior or a inferior and the type of the placentation and the last one is the fruit and the seed so have to mention a type of a fruit which type either it is a capsule or the droop any of the fleshy fruit or a dry fruit have to mention and the while representing the seed have to mention whether it is the i mean the endospermic seed or the non endospermic seed so these are the terminology are used while the description of the flowering plant and then later on have to mention the floral formula yes floral formula we had already discussed and the floral diagram so floral diagram is the nothing but the description of the flower which has been represented by different symbols and the sign so next one is the floral diagram so these are the terminology i uh, have to use in the same sequence while describing the morphology of the flowering plant